All right, YouTube, Droid Review back here for just a quick follow-up. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to install that uh, version 2.2 Bugless Beast, uh, or I should say Bugless Beast version 0.1, which has the 2.2 firmware. In other words, it's called Froyo. You just saw the video. I just showed you how to manually do it. Um, I use ROM Manager most of the time. Um, it works great. Um, this is the way to do it. Please keep in mind, um, you have to be rooted. Uh, you ha you know, you got to know what you're doing. So um, I'm sorry if I don't answer all of your questions or problems that you're having. This kind of is basically for people that kind of already know how to do it or you're already rooted. You have a sense of, you know, know how to install custom ROMs and so forth. Uh, ROM Manager, obviously, if you don't know what it is, it's found in the market. It is a paid app. Buy it. You'll love it. It's going to make your life a lot easier. All right, so first things first, please make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and open up ROM Manager. Um, usually when you get to ROM Manager, it'll ask you to flash clockwork uh, mod recovery. Do that. Um, you know, make sure you check, you know, allow access to root. It'll do its thing. It'll flash it. And then what you're going to want to do is, um, as you can see, if you look close, it'll, it'll say my current ROM is Bugless Beast version 1.1. Um, I'm going to show you real quick. I am on the next theme, um, uh, theme, which I think is one of the coolest looking themes. Um, everything's very custom. Um, also in this video, I'm going to also show you how to put that on top of your, um, bug this beast, uh, 0.1 with the Froyo firmware. Um, so it'll make it look like this, but you also have the 2.2 firmware on there. So anyways, back into ROM manager, go in here, click on download ROM. Let's click on Bugless Beast, and it'll come up here. It'll say Bugless Beast version 0.1. It's grayed out because basically what we have to do is go back here, um, click on Menu, go into the Settings, click on Advanced Mode, push OK. Nothing scary about Advanced Mode. Basically, Advanced Mode is for you know kind of ROMs that are still in beta. They're kind of buggy, glitchy. They're not final. They're not stable, I, I could say, but I've used it. Um, and it's pretty stable, so let's go into download ROM, Bugless Beast. Now it's available. See, it says it'll say experimental things may be broken, but it's it's pretty good to go. Let's go ahead and click on it. Um, when when we click on it, it you're gonna see a little um, update there on it downloading. Um, now it is a big file, so uh, when it's complete. I'll come back just for the sake of time. I am on Wi-Fi, so it should take about maybe five minutes on Wi-Fi. It could take up to 25 minutes to 30 minutes if you're just on 3G. So be prepared for a little bit of wait. I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so we're back. Um, everything's restored. Logged into your Gmail. Uh, let it you know sync up with your contacts and all your apps and whatnot. So um, basically, here we are. We'll just go ahead and show you one more time settings. Go to About Phone. Uh, it's right there. Android 2.2. Uh, updated baseband. Uh, build numbers. Bugless Beast version 0.1. Um, now, uh, so you just have your basic kind of little theme here. Um, the 2.2. It's not even really a theme. It's just kind of what 2.2 looks like stock. Um, so there's not much difference between uh, the theme. So I really like Next Theme a lot. And this was just released yesterday uh, by Fabulous over at, there at uh, alldroid.org. Um, I'm going to show you basically how to install that right now using ROM Manager. So first things first, let's go ahead and plug in the USB data cable. And let's go ahead and mount that. Okay, that was weird. I haven't seen this before. This is, must be 2.2. Push OK. Never seen this. Okay, it looks like it's good to go. So let's put that down. That was, that's something different, new. All right, so this is basically um, the location, alldroid.org. There's fabulous, looking fabulous as ever. Um, this is some screenshots of the theme that we're about to install. Um, I love it. It's really fluid. I like it a lot, a lot of colors. Um, anyways, you can download it here. I'll have this link there. Um, so as soon as you're done downloading it, you'll, you'll be good to go. And let's go ahead and go to right here. Here I have it. Right here. Okay. So 
what you, when you have your phone mounted, let's go ahead and hold on a second because my dog's barking. All right, sorry about that, guys. That was my dog Wrigley barking up a storm. Anyways, um, so here's your uh, SD card. Obviously, um, go ahead and, and throw the actual file, which is this fabulous file right here, just anywhere in your SD card, um, which is usually the root. So just copy it right over. Um, as, this, as soon as it's done copying, you're going to want to dismount, and I'll show you what to do from there on. You don't have to rename the file. Just remember it's called fabul fabulous next theme bb zip. All right, so we're going to go back to the phone here because we're done with that. So let's go ahead and uh, unplug. And this will unmount us, I'm assuming. Now let's go into ROM Manager. And it'll open up here. Let's go to install from ROM from SD card. That's what we're going to want to do. So click on that. It's going to show all this stuff on here. So let's find the fabulous. Fabulous. Where is it at? And there it is right there. Click on that. Um, there's no need to do any of this. No need to wipe data or cache. Just click OK. Press OK to reboot. It's going to go ahead and reboot us into recovery mode. And um, I'll see you guys in a minute when it's all done. All right, so we're back. Um, this is the theme. It, uh, it is installed. I just spent probably about 35 minutes resetting everything up, downloading everything. <clears throat> I'm having a little bit of glitchiness as soon as I put this theme on. Mind you, I have not installed this theme on this 2.2 ROM yet. So um, it's being pretty fluid right about now, um, but it was kind of sketchy getting to this point. Um, the phone kind of powered off by itself once. Um, I had some kind of weird 3G issues. I switched over to Wi-Fi, completely solved it. It was not wanting to download anything from the market. Um, it was just extremely slow. I don't know what was going on. My bars were bouncing from full bars to no bars to one bar um, it's still kind of doing it right now um, usually I have full bars but so I don't know if that's the theme or the ROM or what um, but this is the next theme obviously um, it looks a lot different from the standard um, the, the 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 text is just awesome um, in any sort of text environment um, it's really good if you were to go into and uh, create a text or something like that, um, it's it's a uh, very very nice. Um, I like it a lot. It's pretty cool um, for the texting wise, anyways. Um, the uh, another big change with this theme, obviously, is you have a lot of different color color in it in each little menu. And if you go into the settings, you see a lot of different colors in here. Um, but that's pretty much the theme. Um, a, a lot of it has to do um, with just kind of customizing it. There's nothing changed to the ROM, obviously, if we go to settings and go to home, um, about phone, 2.2. Uh, um, my baseband is still updated. I was going to check that because I'm not getting very good service. It could be Verizon. They were down in SoCal a couple weeks ago. So, um, But that's essentially it. So please, um, like I said earlier, um, all the people that hard, work hard on this, like Pete from Bugless Beast and Fabulous that helped us create this theme on top of that ROM, um, give them some props. If they got a donate button, donate for them. And uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate all your comments. And uh, just uh, keep on checking back. Thanks. Have fun.